the world and great people. And uh, I think it's only a matter of time until more and more Finnish people would realize that, you know, high tech is a very promising uh, career and they should do that. Okay. In your presentation, you, you also had a couple of slides about financial risks that for investors, they're quite high. And for me as a non-financial person, could you please explain, is it possible to actually estimate the risk when you're investing your money? Or is it more of a gambling? Like, okay, I have this sum, I get it, and then I look, what, what is it? I know the question might sound stupid, but I'm actually curious and I know not that much about it. The question is not stupid at all. I think the answer is more stupid than the question. It's very difficult to say for sure, you, you never know. But you can you can look at startups and say what, what their potential is. Okay, is it going to be a billion? Does it have the potential to be a billion-dollar company or not? Whether it's going to happen... It's difficult to tell. And in reality, VCs lose money on most of their investments and only make a lot of money on very few percentage of their investments. So if they invest in 10 companies, maybe all the return comes from two companies. The other eight would either break even or, or lose money. Still, I think that there are better funds than other and some funds are making a lot of money and most funds are losing money so it's experience and uh, you know the smartest VCs are doing better and when deciding where to invest what are investors looking for in a startup how do they estimate the startups so again investors are looking for startups that have very big potential mm -hmm. that uh, ideally a startup that has a potential to Uh, for a billion dollar exit, uh, only a few actually achieve that. But you need to show they need to look at the market and say, okay, this market that the company is targeting is big enough and is growing fast enough that there is a potential for a billion dollar exit. Uh, then they look at, at the team and want to be satisfied that this is an experienced team or a, a, a talented team or a team that can actually address all the challenges and, and be successful. And then technology, a strong technology would be a good barrier to entry or I, I call it uh, an unfair advantage that a stop that may have against other competitors. So if you have a very strong technology, it would be difficult to compete with you. Since we've figured out that Finnish and Israeli startup ecosystems are quite similar, then you can just talk on behalf of both. What are the main challenges an early stage startup faces nowadays? What stops them from becoming big and successful? Okay, to grow, startups need money. To raise money, they need to show that they're they're growing. So it's it's kind of a chicken and egg problem where investors say we're only going to invest when you show us that you grow. But in order to grow, you need to have money. So the more you can do by bootstrapping, by uh, the more you can grow before you start raising money, the more chances you have to actually raise money and, and grow even even more. The catch is how do you do this with very limited amount of money, maybe money that you borrowed or, or took from friends, family, and your own money. And the uh, most successful startups are those that can actually uh, show some traction, and then they can raise money and grow faster. Okay, thank you very much. That was Aaron Yarkoni, and now we invite everybody to the Startup World Cup. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you very much. This was Tribecast, episode 8, and my name is Marina. Tribex has ended. The winner of Startup World Cup, Finos, might be already packing up for the European finals. Silence and peace, you say. But if I find my glasses, I can spot something sparkling on the horizon. Oh, that's Stream Festival, where we'll meet in October. You know, Aaron Yarkoni has started consulting Layette after their meeting during one of the previous Stream Festivals, which sounds like one more reason for any startup to buy a ticket to Stream 2019. And I'll for sure do my best to cover the preparations and the event itself via interviews. By the way, who would you like to hear in the next episodes? Leave your answers in Facebook or YouTube comments. And now I wish you a great weekend. Stay warm and tuned.